do have a kitty cat. I have Who's Pandora. the kitty cat? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Yes, oh the God. tiniest cat in all the land, all of it. Oh. Yes. There's a kit there. I used to have a kitten that I rescued and then she got adopted by my friend and she was like this big. And that's as Aww. big as she got. And I was like, you're like a munchkin kitty. That is so precious. I love that. Yep. I was like, oh. So, all right, guys, welcome to Creating with the Crew. Uh, one day we will have a banner. <laughs> one day. Um, but today is not that day. Uh, as you can see, there is a there is a uh, pattern to when I create. Y'all got to see me every Tuesday night looking like a whole tiefling. Uh, this is what the morning after looks like. Um, because by the time I go to sleep, no, we're not doing that, Satan. I'm going to wake up at 11 o'clock and then get ready. Um, so, but yeah, we're doing wigs today. I had to go to the beauty store to get some supplies. Yes, because yes. today's so, wig day. I went for a walk in the rain. That is how oh. dedicated and ready I am to. You're explore. ready. <laughs> so. And they're like, so the weave. Um, I know that Mab, just Mab, will be joining us, but they're going to be poking back in in a bit. Um, so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get too much into anything without them being here. Um, so let's. Uh, just talk about <laughs> weaves for a second. Um, there's different types of wigs. Um, there are lace front wigs. I have one here somewhere. Hold, please. <laughs> I really um, thought we were just going to start throwing wigs over your shoulder. I thought that, that <laughs> was going to happen. <laughs> Give me enough time during the day. I'll pro that probably usually what ha happens when I'm like going through wigs that are just beyond saving. Hey, Tommy. Um, so uh, lace front wigs are just like it sounds. It's a lace front, which means uh, there's a faux scalp in it. So that's what you put near your hairline. And that way you can hide all your hair, everything. And it literally, uh, you can attach it with tape. I uh, Some people use uh, lace front glue. I'm pretty uh, old school girl where you just take, hey, Zelani, uh, where you just take that got to be glued freeze gel put that on there, let it get tacky, put it, blow dry, that ain't coming off. It's not coming off all at right. all. I like um, you can they sweat in that it. sucker. Yeah, so, uh, and you can kind of use them on some other wigs, but I wouldn't recommend it because it can tear up the uh, the wefts of where everything is. But, uh, so this is just a front lace wig. They have 360 laces, which is literally the whole cap is one lace. So you can literally, encapsulate all your hair in a faux scalp. And then you can put that sucker in a ponytail, you can do pigtails, all that crazy stuff. That's wow. how, yeah, that's probably what be, uh, uh, spoiler, that's what Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion be putting on their heads. So uh, they got those expensive wigs. Um, <laughs> that makes sense. Half, yep, and if I too had that money, I probably would have nothing but weave on my head. So uh, there are half wigs. It's just what it sounds like. This is what I wear as Hypatia because I made her poofier. So a half wig has just this border here. Okay. So this is what you mix in with your hair. Obviously, I don't mix this in. But what you do is you usually part your hair in the front and then you put it in behind and then you blend your hair with it. Obviously, this does not blend. Um, but usually you can dye your hair. You can... Um, find something that matches your hair. You can get it to custom dyeing. That's a whole nother thing that uh, we don't have time for today. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are those are half wigs. That's just what you use to blend into your head. Think of it as a ponytail. And there's some ponytails that uh, double as half wigs that you can pull real tight and it turns into a real voluminous uh, ponytail with drawstrings. There's all kinds of crazy shenanigans with hair pieces. Yeah, uh, I am so new to the world of wigs. So like you've just started and I'm already like, I had no idea that there was a <laughs> like, I didn't know that there was a half wig. That's wild. Yeah. That. Yeah. If you don't want to deal with like your actual back of your head or you want to add more volume to your hair, you just put that sucker in like a hair piece and it just encapsulates and then you use your real hair in the front and sides to just cover it up. Ta-da. Yay. Hi, everybody. Yay. Um, I'm listening to what you guys got going on. I want to share real quick that yes. uh, I love wigs. 
I only buy the cheapest of wigs. <laughs> and I want to show this box right yes. here. Look at that. Filled. Not one of these wigs cost more than $20. That's yeah, right. I can't say that. I can't say so that. So what I did, yeah, I, I, I learned the joys of like half wigs and hair pieces yeah. and clip-ons. Yeah. It made a difference. I have super, my hair is super thin. Yeah. Uh, but not like, I mean, the hair follicles are thick, but I don't have a lot of hair. Um, same thing. I clip on a thing and I look lush. And Luscious. Full of, <laughs> and, Luscious. And full of life. <laughs> but and you know and you can take inexpensive wigs and make them look great um i i the only reason i am weird is because i first started wearing wigs when my grandmother had breast cancer so like we all oh. shaved our heads together and we all got wigs so she got real wigs and that's when i got spoiled so you know i go to the beauty store i go i go to the beauty store and i do look for the wigs on sale because the wigs on sale i might pay 30 or 40 bucks for but they can be human blend human hair synthetic blends um you can get lace fronts on sale depending on when you hit up these hair stores and stuff like that so a lot of my lace fronts that normally run one to two hundred dollars i've max paid 60 bucks um so you just gotta shop around like you just gotta hit the stores and go from that and Oh my God, thank I, you. I oh am not God. a wig expert. I am a- I'm getting food delivered. A, a wig <laughs> hack, so. Yeah, but you know, and this is one that I'm building because you can make your own wigs and you can buy these caps. You can buy these lace front caps. You can buy um, regular wig caps and just sew on with this fancy hair needle. Ooh, it's curved. So you can literally just curve through. Um, and you use like upholstery thread. Like they they sell, here's a secret. They sell hair thread at the beauty store. You can get that stuff way cheaper. It's upholstery thread. That's all it is. You just need thick upholstery thread. That's all it is. Don't, don't do that. Um, and then you can get the crazy shit like this, but we'll get into that later. Ugh. That's what I'm here for. Because okay, I will take a wig and wear it as a wig. I will take a wig and make it a sculpture. Yes, and we can talk about this foolishness. But first, we're going to talk about maintenance. Um, it is synthetic your, your... hair. Yes, they do look like stitching cuts. Um, so synthetic wig wigs are can be a hot oh, mess. Express. I'm loving just Mab up here with the wig. Like yes, <laughs> beautiful. I'm here like, for it. Oh. Um, my husband is super sweet and brought me um, some cucumbers in a miso dressing because it's so Ooh, good. Oh my god, that oh, is good. That. It's I the only like, thing I. It's the only thing I go to Whole Foods for. Whole paycheck. I was really There's hoping a, that like one of your kids just brought you like a bear hot dog. <laughs> oh, they they brought me that too. Yes. So, but synthetic hair. Oh, are those the ones with the clips in it? Because they, yeah, we'll get into that. It's yeah, a game changer. Yeah, take it out. Boom. Yeah, that's what this one is. Anyway, so taking care of synthetic wigs can be a pain in the butt. Um, and there's so many different types of synthetics, depends on how you have to treat them. So, my dog, let's focus on the yes. So, <laughs> let's focus in the $20 wig range. Yes, let's um, go here. Care so, for those. Yeah. So synthetics are what <clears throat> obviously the $20 range is. You can make those last if properly taken care of. So let's say you need to brush one out. Ta-da! Thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> now. This poor so, thing. So this all is mom. This is <laughs> So that's the wig I use. It's the horns are still embedded in there. <laughs> I can't even find the front of this wig anymore. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna find it. I'm gonna throw it on so you can see. Oh my gosh, where is it? This is an adventure. So, oh, so oh, what you go. need to do? So when you're when you're starting with a hot mess express of a wig, you want to take. 
your wig brush, your fancy wig brush, which is a wire brush. Tell me what that looks brush. like. What's that? Oh, look yeah. Like? Sorry, hold oh, up. Cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's very cute when it is not a hot mess express. Oh, yeah. We're going <laughs> to bring that sucker back to life. You can see like this going on. Oh, this is the great side right here. Oh, yeah. So, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to take that weave. You're going to get your, you already have your wig brush. Oh, don't do that because that hurts. I've done that several times. <laughs> my whole um, life your... is my hair getting stuck on stuff. That's like my entire existence. I walk past trees on the street. The trees get stuck in my hair. <laughs> oh, Small no. You're like, you're like Snow it. White. You're like Snow White that's, in the forest. That's why the my hair, uh, fun fact, my grandmother is native. And so uh, hair is a big thing. So uh, my hair used to be past my butt and like uh, Adamo right here. Can you imagine how that weighed? I can tell you a lot. Ooh, it weighed a lot. Yeah, can you my hair imagine? washing day, my hair washing day was literally a day. Um, so, okay. So what you do is you have, can you show them the, the wig brush that you acquired? I bought this today. Yay! Ooh. So this is a wig brush. It's a wire brush. It's it's super inexpensive. Um, and that's what you want. So what you're gonna do is when you have something that's a mess, so you can see I have a lovely little bird's nest here. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a set. No, 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 stop, stop, no, no, stop, no. <laughs> that's how you get a more of a bird nest. All right. So <laughs> did you find did you find the front? <laughs> yes. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a small section. You may have to use your fingers to pry it apart depending on how bad your bird nest is. It's bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was like, so we're not gonna talk about this. Um, oh, we're gonna bad. talk about it. We are gonna okay, so oh you want a small, you want a small, se oh, Matt. <laughs> you want something like this. Like this, this is, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, you, Mab, you, Mab, you're gonna have to. Oh, um, <laughs> buy another one for twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you can save it. Actually, you might just want to send that to me to save it because that's that's a whole other that's a whole other process. Um, this I might is have Ayala's mom. I know, but I I might have to do some water work to it. Okay, so yeah, so you start from the end. So you start from the end of your hair. You're probably going to have some hair fall out because it's a $20 wig. It's not a big deal. That's what buying more hair is for that you can sew back in. Um, so you take that section. You work from the bottom up. So you make sure that part is smooth. And then once you do that, you work your way like two inches up and you keep going. Yeah, see, and then all that stuff that's at the oh. end, don't stress out about that. Yeah, don't stress out about that. We can fix that later. Um, so yeah, so you can you can start from the bottom and then you brush out that one piece. Uh, now that you know Adamo has shown, you can actually lay it down. Yeah. Um, and do that. So you want to use a table space to do that so that way you don't accidentally mix up your pieces that you're doing um so uh while we're doing that now you did get a hairspray if you get something if you can show the hairspray oh it's a wig spray voila 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 uh silky and yaki because yaki is a synthetic weave kind so that's it's just plastic um <laughs> so what you're doing is look at you see look at that Look at that. Look at that. It's happening, it's people. It's yes. happening. So, so you brush it. If you run into a particularly hard spot, that's when you want to take that spray and just mist it, just mist it a little bit, and then continue brushing. Um, you don't you don't want to soak the wig in that stuff because then it's just gonna it's just gonna become a greasy mess. Um, you just spritz it as you go. When you're finished picking all that out. Uh, Mab, you might be there for a minute. Um, I'm finding sticks. I, I just found like twigs. Girl. I don't Girl. know what Ayala's mom's been doing, but... Mm, there are some leaves he's... in mine as well. I feel you. We all know what Ayala's mom has been doing. Oh. Like, 
hooking up out in the woods, like Beltane style. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> um, so then, but once you do that, <laughs> Mab is like, where do I even start? Um, <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> you're just like, why? Um, so when you're doing that, you don't want to miss everything because that's just going to turn into a greasy mess. You do it a little bit by a little bit. Uh, this is where patience is a virtue. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> both of y'all were like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. You signed up for this. You've committed. Uh, so no. So you do that when you're done with all of that, then you can hold the wig up and do a nice little misting over the whole wig and then finish smoothing it out. Now <laughs> the glare at the pa right, right. Dungeon master. I was like, Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean that I felt I felt that through my computer, you guys. Like I I was like, ow. Um, so you want to do all that, and then that way you can help. Now let's talk about curly wigs. Mab, you are a perfect example of what's what's about to happen. Um, you <laughs> you're gonna have to brush all that straight. So you're gonna don't worry about the curls not being a thing. You brush it straight. Aww. There's a there's a no, there's no, there's a method to the madness. I promise you. Um, when you brush it straight, depending on what these wigs are made of, obviously I can't feel yours as much as I do this. Um, mm. you can usually put that sucker in hot water and those curls will bounce back. Okay. How hot? Okay. Yeah, you like blew boiling? my mind yesterday when we were like prepping for this, and you're like, Yeah, yeah, you're gonna need some boiling water. What? Oh yeah. my God. I, I like I just see this all melting. So I got right no, no. I, like boiling no, no. some water and I this made plastic. Some tea. Yeah. So oh. just, just, just calm. Calm. All right, I'm calm. So, I'm freaking calm now. No. I am not losing my cool right now. <laughs> As your horn is tilted. <laughs> um, so but yeah, bring it to a boil, but let it set while you're working. You don't, you know, you want it to start hot and then you want it to cool down because you don't want it to um you need it hot enough but you don't want to melt the plastic okay so you have one or two options depending on what it's made of mad by looking at yours oh it's yours probably not going to snap back um but Aww. what you can do is just just listen um so <laughs> you can get rollers and let me show you the kind in a second i'll go run and get them while y'all talk about me behind my back but i still have my headphones in um I can show you the type of rollers that you can put into the wig and then you dip it into the hot water and that'll help it form mm. back a shape. And that's when you can uncurl it and brush it back out to the type of curls that you want. So let me go Question? grab those. Yes, yes ma'am. I have never been able to handle rollers ever since the fifth grade. Um, All right, it's gotten easier. Everyone, yeah. I'm I gonna show even... you the ones you want, BRB. How do I know how to like arrange them? That's the thing I don't get. And hey, I Matt. swear I'm not talking. Hey, is May hot or what? Do you remember that time she told us to be patient? Oh, that hurt. That hurt I don't me. like that time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jinky. So, yeah. <laughs> He's horned. Did you, did you just say Jinkies? <laughs> I did. <laughs> He's horned. You're basically a cartoon <laughs> character. I love it. <laughs> I, that is kind of true. That is true. <laughs> oh, I wanna. I gotta say this. This monstrosity is loon. And I love that. I love loon's headpiece. It, it is amazing. And when you had the gold piece with it too, that was so. Cool. Oh yeah. So this is a thing I made for um a Saints photo shoot, and. I was so mad that I didn't think of making her thorn thing. It's it's <coughs> broken, obviously. I got too far away. Hold on. Oh, you couldn't hear us? <laughs> I went too far in my house. Come on, earphones, so I can hear what's happening. There we go. Okay. So I went ahead and grabbed some of my stuff. So here's another um, wig spray that I love. It's a blue bottle. This is for human and synthetic hair. I wouldn't use it on the plasticky stuff. It's more meant for like, hello, Carmen. Oh, look. Oh, oh no. Oh. 
Look how fancy. Meanwhile, I'm in a dashiki. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Would anyone like to see the backstage wreckage of last <laughs> night's quest? Because that's what I'm sitting in the middle of. Uh, can we? <laughs> look. Aww. Look at this fucking And this is Paul trying to pack it up, too? No. No. He's not he's, even started. He's not even started. The wreck And, like, oh, my God. The wreckage is... Is expensive. a thing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but yeah, so this is the stuff that I use on like my human, my human blend, stuff Oil like free. that. Oil free. Mm. Um, you can usually use it on the kind that like Adamo has or Mab has. You just gotta be real careful because otherwise it's gonna make it look even shinier than it already does in the plasticky form, which is no bueno, but there's fixes for that too. Uh, so as for rollers, you want these. Really? Oh. For tight clothes? I remember those from the well, 80s. Oh my gosh, for guys. Uh, Rev Tommy just pointed out that she, he was like, oh, Carmel, it's Hypatia's mom. We have mm -hmm. Ayala and Ayala's mom, Hypatia and Hypatia's mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling this is that the mom side. I heard, we were, I heard we were having a spa day, so I showed up. <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my god, I can see Hypatia's mom and Ayala's mom getting a lot. Just, Ayala's yeah. mom or Hypatia's yeah. mom is gonna look at Hy Ayala's mom and say that she's trash, but Ayala's mom doesn't care because she can breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta say, like this is the this is the thing that I'm going for with Hippie's mom with Nespira is that she has weaponized the fact that people think she's dumb or that yep. she's not listening. Uh, like she's absolutely weaponized that. And the, you're gonna like tell her all your secrets cause she's such a good time. She's like the Zelda Fitzgerald if Zelda Fitzgerald uh, yes. didn't have addiction problems. So, <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm not saying that Hippie's mother doesn't have addiction problems, but Wine. I am saying. Wine. Um, but I am saying that it she knows that there she knows that it is important and valuable to be underestimated. Um, and so she's got a lot going on for herself that she uh has investment in and that See, you know, Carmel, that's the thing. You were always serious about the crowd. I was always serious about the crowd, and that <laughs> yep. Hapatia's older sister may be useless for scheming, but she's because she's not smart enough for that, but she's great at filtering and funneling information. <laughs> so I have I have plans and needs, you know? Hey, you have a daughter that can build whatever and weaponize your arsenal. <laughs> again, again, your father, your father is the one who talks about material goods, darling. I'm here I'm for done. your secrets. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Um, I'm loving know, right? this lore drop. This is some great I know, lore. Right? <laughs> this is all canon. This is all canon. Um, um, I see a question about hair in the comments. Where, where? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I lost uh, it. Sally, I walked away. Sally says, I know you are doing wigs, but how do you define real hair? How do you define? Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, it depends on the texture of your hair. So like, you know, with me, with my crazy... Oh, D frizzy. Oh, girl, let me tell you what you need. So what you got to go buy. <laughs> There's this <laughs> lovely brand called Cantu. C-A-N-T-U. C -A -N -T -U. Um, it's it's meant for uh, thicker hair, uh, curly hair. Um, it has a wonderful defrizzing line that I cannot recommend enough. Um, I have a whole product line just for my uh, shampoo, conditioner, um, a mousse that helps defrizz your curls. So you can have nice defined curls and waves without it getting frizzed up. And there's a natural holding spray. I know that sounds contradictory, but there's spray a holding. holding yeah, but it's, an, it's a holding spray that's a mist. So it's not heavy and it helps keep everything defrizzed. Um, so all the stuff that I have is just crazy organic African magic um, that just works Here great for that. Yes, so it works great on thicker textured hair, 
um, and stuff like that. Um, I use Carol's daughter's uh, oh, dude, micellar stuff, water shampoo. That, yep. that shit is amazing. I have yes. a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. And mm -hmm. it's uh, that stuff is great because actually the it's not just that the shampoo is micellar and aloe based. It's that mm -hmm. the applicator tip is like a t is like a cone squeeze, yeah. like an old bottle of um, mm. hair dye. So it actually gets yep. through the density of your hair to the root. Wow. And you yep. can just squeeze it right onto your scalp and work it through as opposed to. Like, and, and that's for hair that grows out of your head or hair on a way. Was that's on your, your hair, hair that your grows out of your head? Your real hair, your real hair, your real, your like about real protein hair. based yeah. coming out of um, your own self hair. But it's and, micellar water and aloe, so I mean, speak to me about how it's any different than what you could use on synthetic hair. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to test it out because I've never really. I'm real wary because I put some stuff on in my younger days. Um that was meant for real hair and it just weighed down those wigs and it was just a hot mess and I had to wash mm. it all out and start over. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Um, but, you know, and another thing, just like uh, Carmel said, you know, if you're looking for a good oil too for your scalp and your hair root, like the roots of your hair, um, Cantu has one that's the same thing, applicator. It's like a tube, like a hair dye bottle and you can use it to actually part your hair like a rat tail comb. Mm -hmm. And put it all through and get it all on your scalp and roots to keep your hair, your roots mm. and your scalp moisturized so you can get less dandruff. Um, so yeah, I, I, Carol's daughter, love it. Uh, my hair changed after kids and Cantu started working a lot better because uh, my hair got thicker, which is insane to me. I didn't need it any thicker. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, you know, they, they say kids make your hair get thicker. Is that true or false? I, I don't know, but my stuff really got thick after I popped out that second kid. I was like, oh, this got to stop. That's why I cut it off. I couldn't do it anymore. It got too hot. <laughs> uh, so, but, um, so these type of rollers, the only reason I like using these is you can, when you're trying to fix wigs like that, <laughs> Mab. Like this um, beautiful. Yeah. And they have bigger ones. This is just. Oh, right now, you me. look like Ghostbusters. What do you want? <laughs> Ghost yeah. or frow Annie Pot. Or the frow. Uh, if her hair was black, it was like the frow from Austin Powers. Oh, frow frow. Oh, yeah. mm. I will tell you, this is uh, one of my oldest wigs. And at the time, like, you know, and I, I've always been a $20 wig buyer. I bought this um, from a wheel. A wheel. A real wig a shop. A real, yes. A real wig shop. Um, like, a, you know, a little Korean shop. It was adorable in downtown D.C. And I think it cost me $35. Yeah. And, you know, again, this was the 90s. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I, so, I used to wear this to clubs all the time. So. Oh, yeah. And then here's another thing, too. When you have uh, least inexpensive wigs and they have that shine to them, Take some dry shampoo to them. That'll mm. take down the shine and um, make it look more natural. Ooh, good tip. tip. I love that. I, I yeah. know it's hard to tell, but this actually does look super natural, super actually no. natural. This it's is the nice just the lighting. Video. Yeah, it's just the lighting. Yeah. Probably too. But, you know, light. just so you know, you know, um, so like Adama, when you finish combing yours out and doing all that fun stuff, if it still looks shiny once we're done with the process, dry shampoo that sucker. Speaking mm. of super All shiny right. wigs, so yes. I had a plan today to work on what I'm calling my oat milk maid mm -hmm. costume. I love this. This because is hilarious. Because if you can have a milk maid, you should have an oat milk maid. I mean, that's <gasps> a thing, right? It should be. So, I'm here for it. So I made oat milk earlier in the week. I made a TikTok about oh, my nice. experience. Oh, I was, saw that. <laughs> super cute. Thank you. Wait, so like, what uh, is the oat milk made uniform going to be like? Well, that's the question is I was like, <laughs> okay, so I have this like super crap, shiny blonde wig. If I'm remembering, like, think of like all of the stereotypes of what a milkmaid looks like, you know, super femme, long braids, <sighs> gingham, like all the things. Uh, I got called out. Okay. I, 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 I just don't realize it sometimes. <laughs> uh, but I was like, okay, I'll use that. I've had it. I've been carrying it with me for like seven different moves over 15 years. Mm 
I'm going to, this is the day I'm going to like do like a big sculptural, like braided yes. head piece that'll look kind of like a basket or something, you know, with like, kind of like a halo, kind of like a basket with all of these like braids made out of this shit wig. I have lost that wig. <laughs> oh, no. now, I moved now to I Awesome Town and now I can't find it. So um, Seriously? I, I remember lending it to Toot Sweet for a show and I was like, oh. it's a crap wig. It's fine if it disappears, but you know, bring it back. Now you're like, I need it. Okay, so I can't find it, but you know what I did find? I was like, I'm looking here for through, it. this is my box <clears throat> of cheap wigs. Oh, you should see mine. I have four. So I don't have a lot. You know, I have one really either nice either. one that's like on a head form that Tulum oh, yeah. helped sculpt for me. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, like I've got my own like ratty Annie Potts stuff. I've got my pink, um, my pink fro, which I love because mm -hmm. it's, it's just so when we go to goth prom, it's just the best thing to be wearing all black and then just like a pink hair. pink hair. But what I found was this. Oh, also, if anyone needs um, if anyone needs any judgments passed, uh, um, yes. why do I have this? I don't know. I've never worn it. Um, <laughs> yes, I love it. So I love it. It's so perfect. I love it. Okay, but here's what I found: super shiny, mm. aubergine Ooh. colored, mm. knee length wig. That was like where, some wow. cosplay Where stuff. did this come from? I don't know. It was it just apparated into my box of wigs. Like, I don't know. My only theory is that when I went through my like lavender wig phase, mm -hmm. um, I still am in, by the way, I must have ordered this and gone, no, it's too practical looking. I need something more upsettingly. <laughs> lavender. So now I have this super shiny wig, which I'm gonna take your uh, your advice about the D shine tech. Yeah. What else am I gonna do with it? I don't know. Well, it's, let me show you. Let oats show are you not purple. Else. I can't use it to make my oat milk made outfit. All right. So this is mm -hmm. my because I'm a wee. This is my this is my Kikyo Ooh, wig. That's beautiful. Uh, I had to style all this, but it's currently up because I, you don't want it to get tangled. And we're going to talk about storing your weave so it doesn't do yes, some of the things. Um, uh, so not in a big box. That silver fox cosplay? looks familiar. Huh? You do a Kiki cosplay? Mm -hmm. It's an app too. Yeah. I yeah, hate her, but I love her at the same time. Um, ah. oh, and we'll talk about like wig pins. Anyway. So when you store long hair wigs, this is what you want to do. You want to braid that. You want to mm. braid that sucker. You want to braid it real good. And then you can just wrap it up and, and you can still put it in the wig bag, but you really want to braid it. So that way it doesn't tangle again. Um, this one is sprayed to the gods with glue and got to be glued. So that way it stays Aww, like this. Got to be glued. And then, you know, this is not sprayed, so it does flow freely. But all this is styled with spray glue, watered down, and got to be glued. So it stays because it's going to stay like this forever. Um, what kind of spray a, glue besides got to be glued do you use? Like, okay, so I uh, water down, um, like Elmer's glue, water it down to where I can spray it. Oh, what do you use? And like then, a yeah, a spray bottle. Like, uh, talk to me about your glue, May. Talk uh, to me about yeah, your glue. like this. Not, but this, this is this is Windex for my Windex. Printer. But you want this, and you water it down so that way it can get tacky. You want to let it dry. So, like for instance, let me find my card. Not away. gorilla glue. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Why not? That, that seems because like that will. Because that will glue too fat, dry too fast. Because you want to be able to smooth it as you go. So you want to be able to work with it like a hair gel. Um, uh, because gorilla, you no, know, don't do that. Um, uh, so and you want to wear like a uh, if you're reckless like me, I like to feel my stuff. <laughs> so I'll be like, this a wash off, and I'll just. <laughs> but wear gloves. Don't. So I have a question about your spray glue situation. Yes, ma'am. Um, while Mab works on the uh fixing up the uh silver Thank fox you. that Thank i painted much. you painted this <laughs> i painted that yeah oh my god you guys did such a good job thank you 
um, the wig. one that Paulo has. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can totally paint a wig. Oh yeah, you can paint it. You can dye it. You can use markers to do it. You the one that Paulo it. has here, the double, the duplicate of it, is in real bad shape. <laughs> This is in pretty bad shape too, but <laughs> anyways, my spray glue situation. Mm -hmm. So I follow a hat maker in Israel mm -hmm. and he was saying they have a really hard time finding buckram and getting buckram to Israel. And mm -hmm. so he just, in he just sprays glue like a watered down glue solution of his own devising onto mm -hmm. thin, thin canvas and makes yeah. his own buckram. Yeah. Um, would you say that the consistency of your watered down Elmer's glue situation would lead to that or would it be too stiff? So you have to, you're going to have to experiment depending on what kind of style that you're doing. So if you're doing something over the top, because I do a lot of anime stuff and the hair defies gra gravity. Absolutely. So you want it hard. That's because a feature, not a bug. <laughs> yes. So you want it hard because you want it to stay no matter how you pack it, you know, how right. long you're in the heat, because some stuff will eventually like what like got to be glued, it'll eventually wear out. A lot of people I know like, oh, I'll just spray that down what got to be glued. Yeah, give it a couple of wears and that shit's back to where it was and you got to start mm -hmm. all over again. Uh, I commit. Um, <laughs> when I do cosplay wig stuff, I have to commit to it because once that wig is done, it's done. There's no coming back from it. What are um, you so working you on, Adamo? <clears throat> oh, um, this is a wig that I really love that has gotten quite a bit tangled. Um, but I actually bought it to do a gender bent Rick cosplay from Rick and Morty. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I actually have. Right over here, my box of props, my laser gun and my portal gun. Um, oh, that's a nice portal gun. Yeah. Um, so I did gender bent Rick. My sister was gender bent Morty and my brother yes. was gender bent Summer. Um, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Rick, that's MF, so cool. and Sanchez. Um, so... Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I was Does anyone to want to know that you should not image search Milkmaid on Google? Yeah, don't Let do that. Just don't tell you what's oh. happening. Oh, so, so look, so this is a wig tub. Is this the wig I'm looking for? No. This is a wig tub. This is a wig tub. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> and I have one more thing. I have one more. Um, what are you holding up, Mab? Um, some people would call it a wig. <laughs> <laughs> um, do these look familiar, Mab? Yay! I'm trying to find a character to commit these to before I start screwing them up. Um, so I want to share a fun thing. Is This was one of those super insanely cheap Halloween wigs that they don't even have hair all the way around. Yeah. It's just this one little spot on the top. Yeah. So um, I did an Agra cosplay and I only had a short wig and I glued my horns to the short wig. And then I wore this underneath it so that I had, so I stacked my wig. So then oh, yeah. I had all this cool stuff coming out in a wig to come on to the show yeah <laughs> yeah it was great it worked great i'm wondering if my horns are in here for that so somebody asked a question about paleo bond yeah uh, I, saw that. I don't know about that one <laughs> they said they were I, still picking the glue off their hands two weeks later yeah so. i i wouldn't i i wouldn't oh, here it is. <laughs> i have a this present one. for all of you what is the present? <gasps> Look at that! <gasps> is that the Elvis oh, wig? Oh my gosh. Is that the, the steel fox? Wig? It is. It's the upside down steel fox. Upside down and backwards. Hold on, let me see if I can get it on. Eh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's got hers right there. Guys, this is look. good. It's getting there. Check this see? out. Holy crap! That is way like way better than what it was earlier. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I'm so, so glad. And I'm for those who not watch um, Nat 21, it occurred to me when I had this on that if if Echo ever has a sister visit, there you go. One of her uh, <laughs> merfolk sisters. This might be a player. <laughs> you. They're like tadpoles. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah. All so, all visiting all new characters must be related to the people. Yes. <laughs> <in> the adventure. <laughs> That's what I did. So here's a prime example of using glue and got to be glued. This curl, these curls have been here <laughs> since I made this oh, wig so a year and a half cute. ago. Oh, this is for oh my, my car gosh, captor. Um, and so that's oh. why this is still here in this form oh. because of the glue. Um, it needs some TLC because it got beat up in in uh in in DC. We we got a little drunk, um, but <laughs> it still held. And what you can do is depending on what your wig is made of, you can use a hot iron on it. It'll tell you if you can use a flat iron or cur mm. uh, curling iron on it and what the temperature, the max temperature you can you can do. So that's what I did. I used this to curl it. I sprayed it. I used my finger and a brush to keep it form and blow dried it so it stays. Um. So yeah, this has been like this for a year and a half. Hasn't it barely shifted except for when I got drunk and her little top is little. No, but I love that little top thing. And then the yeah. side thing, that's mm -hmm. And this is just me like throwing it on. I know, look at Matt. No, but look at this thing. Look at this wig. This wig is awesome. Uh, this is like, I can't decide if it's Andy Warhol or whatever. So it's, it's got like this under black. And then Karen Warhol. Karen Warhol. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is cool. What is that? Like a little this, top? This is the one that uh, Carmel oh. gave me. Yes! Oh. It wouldn't fit all of over all of my giant noggin and all of my hair. I mean, it'll fit better when I actually, you know, put a wig cap on my thick ass hair. But uh, I have three versions of this. I now have this. I have a blonde for Prudence from Sabrina, oh, and I have my oh brown. Oh my god! No. Oh my god! Your Prudence would be so heart stopping. Prudence is already the sexiest thing in the world. That's like she does her own hair. She does her own hair. Yeah, I saw wow. her. She I does see. her own finger waves, and then she was okay. You can finish. I went. Yes, because finger waves are a whole other skill <laughs> that I will never endeavor to try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. I like yeah, that I Mab is building a forest of wigs around her. Yeah. <laughs> this, one is my, this one is my absolute favorite. Aww. If I can even. That is so cool. I love it. Oh. Hold on. This is when my posture is at its best. Oh yeah, those tall wigs, you gotta have your posture yeah. alignment. Yeah. Um. This one, it has two other hair pieces that clip in. I can't even see because I have my glasses on. But this whole thing lights up obnoxiously. I love it. Awesome. Um, but it's, it's awesome. You're like spring. You're like the Yeah. I have a costume for this, but I need to make a new one because I hate the old one now. Um, I vote for just that in a bikini. I, I mean, yes. Where's <laughs> I need a beach. I need a beach. Just be like, Frolic some fairy wings and we call it done. You know, if this was Europe, I just go naked with some fairy wings and call it done and be like, we're in nature. <laughs> with our very plastic wigs. Christine now has a um, backpack made her own hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, this so one, one thing I have definitely yes. noticed is that lying the wig down on a table has not been working for me. Um, yeah, you have to find your own thing. Yeah, like if I had a, a wig head, that would probably work out well, but I don't. So just like holding it on my hand or draping it over my shoulder seems to be working out the best for those of you at home that don't have wig heads also. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and if you do have wig heads, you want these. They're called T-pins. They're wig pins. Whee. Oh, That's no. what you stick up like this, and it keeps it on. Yep. Uh, so okay. you can beat it up. Yep. Yeah. Um, and they're easy to find. So even if you accidentally press it in there, you'll feel that little rectangular top, so you don't accidentally like yank a part of the weft and stuff like that. And I think Mab may have had a sneezing fit. Um, I bought this wig recently because I'm crazy, and if Jordan Con does happen next year, I'm part of a Bridgerton cosplay group. Of course you are. <gasps> And I've already That's bought so all cool. the fabric, and I'm going I to be Queen Charlotte 
I'm gonna be yeah. Queen Charlotte in her uh, tea dress. I have all the fabric already, and this is gonna be the wig that I have to turn into that bouffant fro curl shenanigans. I'm gonna be crying <laughs> for the next year. And the next time oh, I do a map. Queen of Hysteria show. Wait, what? I said the next time I do a Queens of Hysteria show, you can be Charlotte. It'll be awesome. Hey, May or any of the other of you, do yeah, you let me know on. how to turn on our names? Oh yeah, that probably would help. Uh give the me a people second. Watching out at home know who we are. Ah, there we go. There it is. I had to find it. <laughs> you okay, man? Um, Hold on, accidentally. She's got her, she's got her muted. So okay. it seems like uh, it seems like some things are. Yeah, let me. Up. Let me do because I don't want her to. Right when she comes back, we'll ask. Also, yeah. All right. I love how this is turned into a beautiful like wig show and towel show. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Here's look some care. By the way, look at all this wig. Um, but yeah, so uh, Adamo is brushing out le weave. Um. Carmilla was it cur modeling weird was it curly things. before <laughs> or was um, it just wave yeah so this one just has like really really like big waves waves yeah which you that, know now that, now that i'm brushing it out it is like pulling them out a little bit um and it'll be fine because but, like i said you can dip them in the hot water with some curlers in it if you want the waves back and that'll help the the plasticky stuff shape yeah. and then you can brush it out to the thickness or however loose or thick you want the curls in other words yeah and this is already a thousand times better than when we started so i am uh i'm so delighted because i love this wig i'm so glad that we're doing this today uh I love when people bring their wigs back to life. Yeah. Because sometimes, it's even people, if you save your cosplay wigs, do it. <laughs> as long as you haven't glued them together, you can save them. Glue it. Map, you good, one? Map? Yeah, no, I'm okay. sorry. I okay. inhaled no. some spare hair from a wig and I oh, no. tried to kill me. <laughs> but I want to show this one. This is another wig option. Uh, I took two cheap wigs and I literally sewed them together. You, <clears throat> yeah, you can oh. definitely stack wigs. Like stack, you can buy a bunch but of cheap well, wigs. I, I didn't just stack it; I cut it. Yeah, here. Yeah, and then so yeah, it does. This yeah, because cool you can. Yeah, you can splice them. I call it stacking, but you can splice them together and make them bigger. <laughs> like I'm gonna be doing, you know, whenever Dragon Con's a thing again. Um the bunny hutch where you take nerd stuff and Ooh, turn into a, yeah yeah turn it into a, a bunny i am a weeb um and i will be doing dragon ball z and Aww. i will be doing uh what's his face um oh my god i had a brain fart just because i'm talking about him i'm doing a bunny hutch raditz so it's like he has all this hair so i'm just gonna yes. build like the biggest <sighs> long black wig and just be obnoxious the whole time in armor and Girl, a bunny suit. I am, I am so freaking into all your cosplays. Everything <laughs> you've mentioned so far, I'm like, yes, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> I will be your cosplay hype man. Cause I am like, <laughs> I love it. Hype, 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 hype. Now if I can get off my butt and get some motivation. Cause my thing right now is, huh. Where am I going? <laughs> like, that's my. That's yeah. My, I'm like, why am I sewing? What am I doing? Why am I buying all this fabric? Where am I going? Why? Um, but I don't feel bad about this whole stash of fabric I have when I'm about to make this uh, Elizabethan gown because I have no flips to give. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at Carmel's face. She's like, yeah. I just, I think I found the reference photo <laughs> that I needed. Yes. Please. For your oat milk For my oat milk made. It's not corn. Oh. I'm sorry, the milkmaid and her <gasps> tail. Is okay, the okay. Tail from arm. Longtime um, viewer, first time caller. Hold on, Carmel, quick, because this is a limited window. Longtime sure. viewer, first time caller. I have, a, I have a frizzy hair problem with my wig. If you could just give me some advice on. <laughs> um, you're going to want to put some serious hairspray in that one. Uh, put it closer to the camera. He does not look pleased. <laughs> I mean, he looks like bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. Oh goodness! 
Look at his little murder face. <laughs> Aww. Mm, murder face. Murder face. Oh my god, I love him. How I love, love him today. so much. Oh, it looks so good already, Adamo. Ah! I know, right? I'm so happy. I think I almost have all the tangles out. I can almost. And what you want to do is. It on, the, uh, on, the, uh, so on the part that goes against the back of your neck, the back of the wig, always double check that spot too, because that's where knots are notorious to form because yeah. sweaty. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the most tangled part of it, but I've gotten most of it out now. That's the nape of the neck yeah. right there. So you can yep, see there's yep. still one spot I need to take out, but mm -hmm. the rest yeah, of you're good. Look at you. It's saved. Yeah, I used the spray. So mm -hmm. when I saw the nape of the neck oh. area, I saw all those tangles, I sprayed it and brushed yep. it. Definitely yep. helped. By the way, guys, when I went out to get the brush and the spray, I spent a total of like $9.85. Nine oh beauty, $9. go to your local beauty store. You will not pay out the butt like at Sally's. <laughs> yeah. Shop local. And they were really Don't be nice. stirred. Like, oh yeah, I it, yeah. back home before I moved, there was a place I bought so many wigs from that they knew me by name, <laughs> and I got and I got discounts because of how much hair I bought <laughs> because oh it was always it was always just like oh I'll take these bundles and let me get that wig and let me get that base cap and let me get those what I was just like always something. That Always. was the other thing. I had to like put the blinders on and run out of there because <laughs> there was so much hair and I was like, yep. oh, look at that wig. Mm, oh, that color, that one's so good. Oh, look at those curls. <clears> oh yeah, it gets like 10 wigs. Like It uh, gets scary. And yeah. then I, uh, I'm i doing a, well, we, me and Sarah, uh, Sarah Joy, we plan these cosplays like we're going somewhere. But we're gonna be doing, uh, she's gonna be Seahawk and I'm gonna be Marmista and I'm going to find <laughs> all the blue hair that I can like crochet into a wig cap and make it just Is that big how you do it? Spots. Well, it depends. So if you buy a cap with, let me see if I have one, hold on. Oh my God. I have something so to share insane. with you guys when there's a moment. Oh, I'm so sorry, Carmel. I did not mean to cut you off. No, 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 it's new, it's new. <laughs> it's new, it's not old. I wanted to see your milkmaid reference. Yeah, let me uh let me share the screen for a minute. While she's getting the the mermis and stuff. I can't, this thing is in here so good. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, let me know when you want me to hit share and I'll You see that? Do you see that woman wearing a hat? Okay, hold on. Let me add to stream. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> do you see what's happening oh, here? Yes, I do. I she's wearing a hat covered in accoutrement. We love accoutrement. I just love accoutrement. There's another one that's that's kind of crazy, but apparently this is something new. Um, the milk. There's it's a the, whole house. The milkmaid's the milkmaid and her pail is an old fable that's found in a bunch of cultures, which is apparently about poor people daydreaming. And then not being wealthier by giving away the th the only resource they have. Like, well, if only I could sell this pot of milk, mm -hmm. then instead of taking it home to my family, and drinking it, uh, yeah. then I would be rich enough to buy a whatever. And then they get so caught up in their daydream that they actually spill the milk, <clears throat> and then they have nothing. Oh. So apparently, there's a the fable or the story, like the structure of that story, is in a bunch of different. Traditions, not just Western ones, not yeah. just about milkmaids, but about like, I'm a poor person who collects things for a living. Let me think about being rich for a minute. Oh, I got distracted by wanting to be wealthy and getting above myself. And now I have nothing. So there's this weird, now I have this weird narrative about, <laughs> well, because my TikTok videos were about, you know, bourgeois food for low rent artists, <laughs> oat milk. Um, <laughs> but... I'm like, oh, maybe the whole thing about the oat milk maid is that she's she's got your luxury health food mm. right here. If only you could afford it. <laughs> if only. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. Be a position of wealth. 
I don't know. There's something in here that I'm going to mine for a while. You're gonna, I'm, I'm here get for it. Get out this thing. So far. Amazing narrative. Thank you. So far, <laughs> it's looking like that. Like big sheaves of those will oh. be braids. Are you going to do the ribbon, your... the ribbon tying in it too? Or no, you think? <laughs> I don't, I don't know yet, but I love the idea of a hat covered in pails. <laughs> so I've got, I got to well, do something. Here's the thing. Uh, another thing to think about for me is milk comes, is like squeeze the thing, it goes into a pail. Now oat milk, it's like run it through a blender and a food processor and a strainer. I should carry one so of those, those are, one of me. Yeah, those are things that you, you know, if you're gonna have it on a hat, like a strainer and a food processor and. Uh, <laughs> or, I um, mean, in the worst, uh, worst case scenario, <laughs> I'm at a con, I'm the oat milk maid, and I have created some sort of terrible oat udder that people can squeeze and get a oh, little bit of oat for milk that. for their latte. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That is amazing. <laughs> let's make it weird. Yeah, let's make it. Now let's take it and make it weird. Um, there was a there was a costume. I, I was gonna take this wig apart because I was gonna use it for something else because I didn't glue it. Um, but for Jordan Con, we were gonna be the cotton candy bourgeoisie. So I had started Ooh. like a bright pink, uh, robe à la française, had it all, and we were gonna literally be candy bourgeoisie. And I was gonna build. I have a candy dish that I already decorated. I was gonna build it into the bouffant and have actual candy with a scooper, so people could just like, as I, they could like scoop candy nice. out of my wig. <laughs> and then COVID stuff. And and then this is why I love these ponytails. Boom! I know they are everything. Ugh, they are a huge game changer. Boom! All right, volume. Guys. I think that she's done. So I'm gonna oh, put it on. Put it on, put it on, put it on. Um, oh, but I was saying was so you can buy you can buy wig caps that have braids already on them. Um my hair and then, really yeah, they already have braids. I can't mm -hmm. find it. It's somewhere in my room of doom. Um, but you can buy wig caps that already have braids on them, and then you can sew into the braid or you can crochet hair because you can do all that. Uh, with it into the braids, just like you do normal hair when you uh, braid your hair to do like sew-ins and stuff. So you can buy I'm the wig pony. cap. You're a, I'm a cute little pony. I'm a unicorn. So Gandalf the the pink the pink uh, says hi from Julia Aitash. Is that are you in Turkey? Where what are you, Gandalf that? the pink? Where are you? Gandalf or Gandalf? I'm not sure. Gandalf. Let's see. Let's see. Gandalf. Tell us where it. that is. Otherwise, I'm going to Google. Yes, please tell me where that is. Um, and just some guy in Tennessee wants to know about almond milk. And then so, we're talking about I mean, horchata. They're basically I love like horchata. I look very I I I look very good in a horchata. I make really good horchata. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of rice milk, um, almond milk. Here's the thing about almond milk: almonds are actually super thirsty in the natural way, not in the "hey" kind of way. Yeah, they're super I'm thirsty, thirsty for, for water. Almonds. They're actually very bad for the environment because of how much how how much ah. almond farming is happening to feed the like the gluten free revolution that we're all in which i am a part of and <laughs> the, the almond milk uh stuff and so the dairy-free revolution as well um but unfortunately they're a super unsustainable tree uh for that kind of for that kind of protein and that kind of carbohydrate so but what mm. you do is you mix you chop up your oats your oats your almonds really really finely and then you mix them with water almond not a euphemism milk. Not, not a euphemism. Not a euphemism. But oh my god, look how good it looks! It wouldn't be a creative. Oh my god! I have something to say about social justice? That is not. Oh, you're fine. A no. Rick Sanchez, because you look too damn good to be Rick Sanchez. It's a good look, at, but it's the right. All, Adam all, all Adamo has to do is put that little vomit thing right there, and then th they're good. No. Rick will well, be it's like a. 
it was like a no. sexy gender bent Rick. Thing. Yeah. Like I had the lab coat, but like instead of the blue sweater, I had a blue crop top. Yes. And then I had like a flask and I took some green Aww. rock candy and I crushed it up and put it in a baggie. And I was like, these are my Calaxian crystals. And I <laughs> yes. saying shit like, um, I turn myself into a woman, Morty. I make 90 cents less on the dollar, but I get free drinks at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so here's the wig I almost used for Hypatia. Hold on, let me see if I can get it on. Ugh. The bigger the, the hair, milk. the closer to God. That's what I learned in Texas. That's the God's truth. I can't even see through it. That's how oh, so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> but this too is a half hair. wig. But uh let me see. Show me half wig. Oh, half Show wig. Show me the oh. undercarriage of a half wig. Oh, I lost my earplug. There it is. Do you so, remember? I don't remember which movie it is, but Pam Greer. Where does that end? That's the top. Erringer out yeah, of her no, afro. It's so large. There's no. And um, then let me see the cap. No lace what? or. There's. Well, this is just the cap. Yeah. It's still a normal cap. The reason it's a half wig is because there's no uh, bangs. There's no completion to the. It's for you to just blend your hair. On. So that's what I okay, so then I wear half wigs. That's. So this is this one's a little more defined. So you can see where this is and the comb is. You can tell I wear a lot of makeup. Um, <laughs> no matter how much I wash it, my makeup dyes everything. Uh, but this is where you can see where the the part that blends into your hair, and that's the edge. It doesn't have a finished like <sighs> bangs or anything like that. I'm gonna clip all of my clam clamps oh my on gosh. top of each other to see how big I can. Hi, Bill. Ew. All right. <laughs> what is my husband printing? Girl, you just mounting them up. Y'all look good. Y'all, all of you. I just want look good. to. Get, I'm just gonna like style it a little bit more. I yeah. Guess, like at the because it used to have a little bit more like. It, you see how this is a little bit more like yeah. formed and like now it's a little bit wild on the bottom. Yeah. And that's when you just take it and you do the same thing. You just take piece by piece. You can get those real thick ones like this. And um, and what you might want to do, have you washed it at any point? Have you washed your weave at some point? Uh, no, I've only used this like three times. So I was like, nah. Okay, How does so washing work? So you want to just use like a gentle soap, like a dish soap. You don't really need to use a shampoo because it's not real hair. Um, but just you want to put it in because now I'm now that I've seen you're probably not even gonna need the hot water now. Um, but for future reference, if you want to put those curls in, you do that. But to wash it, you want to put it in like a sink or a tub and just rinse it with your hands with some soapy water. Um, and you will be able to tell how dirty your weave is because trust me, if you spray a lot of shit, wear a lot of makeup, that water is gonna yeah. turn and tell off on you real quick. Um, but you want to use like just dish soap, just liquid soap, like some Dawn or something. And just I've wash used it. A, a very small amount of Dr. Bronner's. Yeah, that. Yeah. But you want to use less of that. But yeah, yeah. Same like, thing. Beep, just a drop. Just a drop <laughs> of Dr. Bronner's. But same concept. You just warm water. You can wash your floors. You can wash your wig. All in one. All, one, all in all one, one go. All in one go. Um, but you want to wash it. And then you want to squeeze it with um, a towel just to get some extra moisture out. And you want to hang dry it. You don't want to brush it while it's wet. Um, you want to brush it while it's dry. No, not with fake stuff. Um, you want to let it drip dry. And then once it's dry, then you do the same process. Wood care is very intensive. <laughs> um, but you want to do the same thing and gently brush it out and that might fix some of your floofiness to be honest without having to boil it yeah okay give so, it a good wash so soap get, like scrunch it yeah scrunch it what you know rub it, your hand of yeah rinse it dry, pat it dry let it hang, hang it up. yeah and don't brush and, it wet no brush it wet and then once it's dry then you can brush through it and that might fix your poofiness and if you buy synthetic wigs, always check the card or whatever on them. Because some of them, like I said, you can use a flat iron or curling iron on them, um, depending on what it's made of. Thank you. This is heavy. I'm going to wear this? this for the rest of the day. What is there you go. It's just nice. 
my roommates are going to come downstairs and be like, um, why are you wearing a blue wig in the dark? <laughs> oh, I mean, you're like, because if I turn the lights on, you'll be so blinded by my brilliance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's I more really of my own question. Together to do the crystal gems from Steven Universe. <sighs> I want a I whole group of gems, like, and then I want to yes. get a con, roll up, gem deep. Uh, I see a question from Magnus. And Sir Whitebat before that as well. Oh, let's, let's, let's go question. in order. I have a preference What for is triclosan? Does not have triclosan in it. Drop, drop us an explanation in the chat, Sir Whitebat. Yeah. But I've used ivory soap too. Actually, I my grandfather swore on ivory soap. soap. He swore on ivory soap. Uh, that's all we use in our house. Um, when you wear a wig, it generates a lot of yeah. heat. Yep. How do you deal with it? Oh, uh, you suffer. Um, no. So <laughs> honestly, um, okay. So here's yeah. the thing. Um, it you're just gonna suffer. It's the time of the year. It's a it's a it's it's a something over your head. What you want to check for though, when you buy your wigs, do I have one? Oh, because I'm smart and that's all I buy. Okay, so <laughs> I learned that lesson in New Orleans a long time ago. So you want to buy a wig? Okay, so you see how this is completely closed cap. This is all like the wig base. There's no open stuff in it there's no space um this is this gets hot no matter what you do it's gonna get hot now i try to buy wigs that have an open <clears throat> cap there's ventilation i can stick my fingers through here it's like webbing yeah. this will dispel some of the heat without it sucking it completely in you're still going to get that heat but this is a lot better because look you can stick your fingers through this so you know air is going to get through it so you want to stick with a wig that has more of an open cap um i've noticed as years have gone on there's a lot more wigs um that have open caps so it's not as hard of a find when i was younger it was really hard to find and they cost a lot more but if you can find that open webbing that you can stick your whole fingers and everything through, that will help dispel some of the heat. So it won't get as hot. It's going to get hot. Sorry. Unless you're like me and cut all your hair off and say, screw it, it's going to get hot. But even with that, even with my short, thick hair, it still gets hot. Um, so yeah. that's just, it's just part of the, sorry, welcome to beauty is pain. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? Dreaming, uh, dreaming. Uh, we call that design. beauty. We call that beauty. Beauty pain. I thought yeah. that was so damn accurate. Yeah. Yeah. The okay, that. so I'm looking at my reference image again for my oat milk maid, and at the mm -hmm. bottom it has the um, three languages. It says the merry milkmaid, and it says la femme au lait in French, and I'm not sure what it is correctly in Italian, but allegra cantadella. Is that so? That's very leggy. For something a leg, but femme au lait. Come on, la <laughs> femme au lait. <laughs> I know it's like cafe au lait, but la femme au lait. La femme au lait. Would you care for some la for femme au lait? Femme au lait? <laughs> and then yes, they squeeze please. little mil oat milk teat, and they get themselves a refreshing bed. Look, look, that might be a euphemism. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a straight up. Uh allegory <laughs> oh wait where's my other okay i was like look i'm over here looking for the oh, right look how pretty you are. <gasps> i know it looks so good so good um i heard you guys talking about wigs that have like the what the, open, the, the open the open cast yeah, yeah so you want to be I pretty much exclusively there. buy cheap wigs um and they have all had the open cap. Yeah. So, like I can stick yes. my fingers through here. And yeah. It's great for pinning it. Um, yeah. So not only staying cool, but keeping it in place. I can stick bobby pins anywhere I want in this whole yeah. thing. And it's good. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, that's what I was saying earlier. Um, when I was younger, it was hard to find a bunch of open caps. It was just like, it was like a luxury thing. Now everybody and their mama got it. So you don't really have to hunt as much. 
it's kind of standard now, which is great. Cause well, I thought like the open caps were for, um, because they didn't want to put as much hair in there. Cause a lot of my super duper cheap wigs have very open gaps. No, that just um, means they put really thin wefts onto it. That's what it means. <laughs> they didn't put, they put really thin, uh, or as we say, tracks, uh, really, really thin wefts of hair on there. They didn't even try because you can add more hair to it. You can put more tracks on top of the other tracks and just sew it on and make it thicker. Um, so it's just, they use cheap hair or cheap synthetic. So there uh, is another thing I want to share. I want to yes. share a thing. Um, so, and I, these prompts didn't really happen last year, but I was going to try out a new theory. So this is like the super discount wig that you get from um, like Halloween stores after yeah. they close. So this is clearly not a good quality no. wig. That's, like a, a, that's, a, wig that's a spirit a wig. Spirit wig. That's yes, exactly. Wig. So, but check this out for Krampus. Yeah, oh. I, I make like shoulder pads. Yeah, leg pads. Yep, pads out of this, and it looks yep. like goat hair. Yeah, and yep. and it works great. So every year I pick up stuff. a bunch of the cheap. So this is a, a use for wigs that is not on your head. Yes, on your, but I just love the. I feel like D. Snyder a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do. I saw someone do a Viking um, cosplay, and they took a bunch of wigs like that and cut them open and layered them kind of like a cloak, like if they murdered some bear or something. Oh, and it looked. Exactly. I was like, I was like, I have that's a whole a, bunch of these in this box. Yeah. yeah, it's a great use of getting some cheap discount wigs, and instead of doing faux fur, you can layer that crap and give it some texture. Exactly. 10 out of 10 would still dry shampoo that crap though, so it's not as shiny because that stuff out of Halloween, like spirit, spirit Halloween store and stuff. I just I literally it just it. pulled it out of the plastic <laughs> bag. I'd be like, what did y'all do? Like I have one that's a spirit. Let me see if I can find it. Ugh. This is my Mad Madam Mim wig. I love yes. that Mad Madam Mim. I did a I did an act where it was the other lavender wigs where I had a longer one underneath this it was hiding up inside of it and in the middle of the act i said oh, yeah i can i can be beautiful lovely and fair silvery voice long purple hair and then i would take this wig off and the long hair would fall out underneath it like unroll and then do the thing and at the end i'd say but I'm an ugly old creep. And I took a giant pair of scissors and I just started hacking at the other wig underneath it to get back to being a short crazy oh, person. No. <laughs> um, I love that. And oh it was it was a lot of fun, but also like I think that's why I have so many lavender wig pieces now is from all of them. Chopping. The chopping. I sewed the two wigs that I destroyed to do that into one. And so there like I did um for her one that she showed earlier and i to like make it functional again but i love this I like for that some reason it like it's you know it's like a 25 dollar wig but it's um it's not too shiny yeah in so person beautiful. so that it's also lighting it's lighting is terrible like this looks shiny but it's actually hella dull because this thing is like 10 years old i <laughs> love that shape though. i love it and i'm like i just want to I just, I want to, I hate trying to, like, I've built an actual wig, like, from scratch like this, and I hated it. It was a nightmare. It was a complete and utter, oh, my God, how much hair do I need? Um, Let's see what's just some guy. Have you seen the hairy line 3D model? I want to incorporate that into a wig or a more solid hair piece. No, I haven't seen that. What's a hairy line 3D model? Let's Google. I'm so relieved the Andoweave wig just needed a little brush. I'm good. Honestly, like, uh, that thing yeah, is that's all amazing. You need, yeah. yeah. And like I said, like Andoweave, all you want to do is braid it up when you're done and then just store it. Right. And then it won't be as, so it won't tangle as quickly. straight hair survive longer than the curly uh, Ayala mom? Um, yeah, I will I tell you, the curlier it is, the more of a pain in the butt it is. Yeah. Um, just yeah. like real hair. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, but you can save it. It's just that when you, 
wigs like that i tend to keep on a wig head the super curly ones because yep. wearing them becomes a pain and then you can't really braid them and then it turns into a knotted mess and then you get angry and set it on fire not like i would say i've done that but uh <laughs> look we had a barn fire it was a long night i was upset um but <laughs> it's quick, oh. quick psa do not yeah. burn your synthetic wigs no don't okay do i gotta terrible. tell you a straight up true story about how i met the woman who's been my best friend since 1993. Oh, we were at a Darkon God. camp out. And uh, so it was a medieval boffer weapon system. And like, I used to wear wigs all the time, all of the time. And there was drinking and you'd go from camp to camp because it's like a little mini Pensick. And I walked into this one camp and they had this big bonfire going and we were laughing and talking and stuff. And I like, it was so hot and I'm wearing this synthetic wig and I'm really close to the fire. No. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I can't even take this. And I took the wig off and then it was stone silence. All of a sudden, everyone thought I ripped my head off. <laughs> they were like, what just happened? <laughs> and it took them way too long to process. And ever since then, uh, Talanesia has been one of my best friends. She's like, oh, girl, I want to know you. <laughs> that's that's comical. That's comical. Uh, I will yeah, forget when I first started performing, I wore nothing but wigs. Mm. And when people finally saw my real hair, they were confused. And I was like, baby, that's a wig. But what about this color? I was like, baby, that was a half wig with my real hair blended into it. Okay, well, I said, like, girl, that was a ponytail. I slicked my hair back, put a pony on top. And they were like, what is that? I was like, dude, I get bored. <laughs> I get real Seriously. bored. Seriously. Got stick in my hair. I was like, I can't stay the same. Not happening. Sorry. You are Sorry. killing it, Adama. You are killing it. Every, like, you've got this. Uh, you've the already Mexican made two here. wigs beautiful. I'm and so I have happy. just exasperated every situation. This was so long overdue, like fixing this one. And then like the last several weeks wearing this on Tuesday nights, like it's just been getting more and more tangled. And I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? So thank you, May, so much for You're taking welcome. the time and patience to deal with us crazy ladies. And No, y'all are great. So y'all are great. No, I'm glad to help it. I mean, like, honestly, if I can help people save some doll hairs, and uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, in a literal so, and, and and literal uh, uh that was a joke uh, i made a pun there but no like i you know i have a habit of weave just about as bad as i have a habit of fabric but now it's mostly fabric now um but if you can save that hair like that pink one i'm totally gonna still do my cotton candy bourgeoisie i just got to take it apart and you know that's why there's certain yeah, but the question is do you have a storage unit dedicated to weave or just fabric mm -hmm. so okay first it. of all we're not going to talk about <laughs> the fact that i have an entire temp control storage unit full of fabric is not okay. a discussion and the fact that i'm literally staring at two shelves of fabric and this white thing uh, right here wait where is it oh you can't see it and this white thing right here may or may not have silk in it so <laughs> I may or may Probably not have a fat. Oh, and then there's all this for my. For, wait, can I even turn it this far? Hold on. Uh, That's all my fabric for my uh my Elizabethan yeah. gown that I'm gonna be working on for New Jersey. Yes. Uh, come on, turn, turn. turn. There we go. I'm just going to show up in a gold kimono and a bra and a wig for new jersey Please. that's Please. the beauty of the renaissance fair you well i mean that's what it. the character dresses like i told people i was like i'm sorry i may not be uh at, i'm just gonna say that all of a sudden uh hypatia is going to be in her full royal garb that may or may not look just like my duchess of wakanda elizabethan gown that i'm doing <laughs> oh, <are you> <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to see that though. Oh. I can't wait. Um, happened in the um, yeah, let's see. Chat, Dream for a dude for see that normally rocks an undercut. Would a half like work for long hair? Um, it depends. Yeah, like if you as long as you have some hair in the uh, with someone that has sort of an undercut, as long as you have enough hair here and on the sides to hide. Um, yeah, you'll be good. You just got to be able to hide that, that connection point 
um, where the that the is awesome. Is. Huh? Oh, hey, you. Our lace friends I know you. I you know, buddy. <laughs> You're like, wait, I know you. Um, yeah, I yeah see so that as long as you photo in the corner. Um, so yeah, as long as you have enough hair here to cover the cap and style it in, yeah, you'll be fine. Um, and sometimes you can cheat it too, depending on what you do. Um, are lace fronts worth the money? Okay, let me tell you. We're gonna Here's my true story. Likeness. So lace fronts are really wonderful if you have a five head like me, because then you can fake it and bring that sucker down. Um, no. <laughs> I have um, one half of a widow's peak. I feel like that that would be. Um, but so, yeah, lace fronts is for when you want to be able to style that weave any way you want. Because uh, you can get a lace front, you can get a half lace. Uh, half lace is half the cap is lace. So you can part and style and do whatever. A full lace literally encompasses your whole head. And that means you can pull it up in the back, make a ponytail, do pigtails, do whatever. Um, so depending on what you're doing, it's worth the investment. Um, I have a couple of just lace fronts for certain characters because I want to be able to style that hair like the character's hair and that requires hair that I don't have and a faux scalp. So that way you can do a sides part, a middle part. Like you can part those suckers, depending on how far back the lace goes, you can part those suckers any which way direction. And then of course, the more lace there is, the more expensive they are. Like a full lace wig can run three to $400. That's not my jam. It's not that serious. I don't pick characters with ponytails. Um, or, <laughs> or you can style a base wig and do like the trick where you commit and you glue it in place where it stays and then add a ponytail to it. Um, there's ways to do that too. And then you can still have uh, the character look without paying all that money for a lace front. But I do love them. Um, just make sure you get something. Uh, I like the human hair ones are more expensive. They do have synthetic lace fronts, which is usually what I buy. Um, and they last a long time. As long as you take care of them, um, be gentle with the lace because it can tear if you're too abusive to it. Um, just like my fragile emotions during this pandemic time. Uh, <laughs> now I'm being silly. Uh, but yeah, no, but they're, they're worth it. I wouldn't say spend hundreds of dollars, but... 60 bucks it depends on the look is really yeah yeah and, and and the more funky color they are the more they can cost but shop around at the local beauty stores i mean the most i paid for one was 60 bucks and it was a half lace and those run usually like 150 250 so mm -hmm. just shop around you know i shop way in advance i plan stuff way ahead of time you're really good like at that i actually am so shit at that that i the people who <laughs> yeah seriously world, once new jersey yeah. june yeah <laughs> Who can plan You're so far already... in advance? I just yeah. um, that's hard for me. That's real hard for me. I that's I guess I'm just like type A personality all the way. Uh, yeah, I, I am too. I have but... to plan out my budget, and that's like the banker in me from my past life. I'm like, all right, what's my budget? <laughs> I want to say real quick, Adamo. I loved when you stacked those wigs. Oh it yeah, I was just really messing good. around. I was like, oh, no, that's that's invention right there. Like, I don't want to hold both of these, so let me just boom. This one, this one has like uh the clips on it, so I'm like, yeah. oh, let me just now you look like little red riding hood. <laughs> it really does look like red riding hood. I love it. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, you're definitely a superhero. Fun combination way to put these together. Also, I did not properly put my hair up in the, this wig in the first place, I just have this huge ass bun like sticking out. Yeah, that's, you know, we're, we're not trying to look professional right. here. We just yeah. want to get the look done. <laughs> the beauty of being on camera is that nobody has to see what you're hiding. <laughs> exactly. Don't look behind the back of this way. I do feel yeah, though, like, like don't look behind the curtain. As we're coming look. to the close of this, that I should unveil how much actual hair I'm hiding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I got to see this. Up in here. So, all right, hold on. It's, it takes a minute. I am always imagine you with short hair, even though I've known yeah. you with long hair. Right. Well, for I about two months ago, I actually went and got a foot of it cut off. Jesus. Foot. Oh. So, wow. Hold on. But, Wait for it. That's Ugh. so much hair. And look how thick that. I know. Is. It's luscious. <laughs> and, and the coloring makes it look like copper. Yes. Oh, that yes. Really nice too. 
Are we ready? Big review. Oh, oh Jesus. Wow. Oh, Girl, look at that lion mane. Lion's mane. Rawr. <laughs> and Leo. There you I'm go. Just, Your hair already. I, I put it up, you know, when it's wet, I braid it up like that. Mm. Um, yeah. And it gets this lovely little curl and shape to it. And then when I pull it down, I'm like for about two and a half minutes i'm like look at me yeah look at me so good if i could if you could <laughs> no no it's going back up it's going back up, it's going back up. so i just nope. I have, you know i'm as a witch you know i feel like i'm supposed to have some sort of familiar but i realize that my familiar is actually my hair <laughs> that's how i animal. feel honestly like my hair is my trademark, my signature. Like yeah. if I if I cut it off, I will never cut it off. But like people wouldn't be able to find me. That's how people find me in a crowd. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. One I once was told uh that I was identified as, you know, Ginger Frida Kahlo. And I went, I'm my my whole life has been made that I I keep my hair up in red braids with gold flowers. Yep. Ginger Frida Kahlo, if that's what you think of me when I'm walking down the street and you can identify me. Done. Um, that's a done. good screen name. Done. <laughs> that is a good screen name, though, for real. Ginger Frida Kahlo. <laughs> I would just want to say I may almost have this one lock combed. Oh. See? Yay. You know, meaning my meanwhile, when I said patience and they both gave me the death glare. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was perfectly timed. Y'all both went. <laughs> Girl. Like, please. <laughs> Look who that you're speaking. Time. It's been another 90 minutes of just talking about wigs with the ladies. Yay! Woo! Yes. Well, uh, 90 minutes. One lock. Thank you. I think I think we're good. Uh, look yeah. at you. Yeah, take that time, girl. I'll look, we'll work off screen on this because this is gonna be a project. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I guess we can do the last thing of talking about our shows like we always do. Ooh. Um, I know people are talking about trying to find us at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. Um, I think almost all of us are going to be there for sure the second weekend. I'm aiming for it. I'm going to be performing there the first first weekend, weekend right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so go both weekends, guys. Go, go, go both weekends, guys. Seriously, support your performers. It's hard. Yeah. Um, it's a hard time. Um, but be safe. Mask up. We already know that's required. Uh, <laughs> do I even want to know? Otza has been off screen because she just went and found the cat locked in the green hair. Poor baby. Oh, no. So if you're that's wondering. not a euphemism. Know. I want to be crystal clear on that one. That, that one is for sure not one. Um, that's funny. Um, so today is Wednesday. I'm about to block everybody's faces. Sorry. Um, so tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, of course, we have World Spirit Tarot with Madam Ansa. I'm gonna poke up here so you can see my face. Ah uh, <laughs> um, World Spirit Tarot with Madam Ansa. Tonight, Tim would recommend. I love it. Be sure to tune in, support our, our wonderful Madam Ansa. Um, tomorrow at 1035, we obviously will have, sh uh, sonnets with Shakespeare. Um, and 10 PM, uh, on, so we already got you girl. We pimped you up. Uh, we just pimped your show. Uh, so 10 PM Eastern, uh, tonight, I mean, tomorrow night is not a game cause we did the finale last week. Uh, tomorrow is more of a Q and A. Um, where, you know, you might find out more about our characters. You might not because we may be going on more adventures and maybe you don't want to know. However, I know people want to know about mine because they were severely confused. Um, <laughs> then we're going to round off Sunday. Uh, 5 p.m. is Sunday side quest. Uh, don't know what it is yet. Don't ask me. I just work here. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be a surprise. Um, and then 8 p.m. is the haiku wrap up as always. And then on Mondays, my mummy... Um, AKA uh, Carmel Clavin will have Glamour Hobo Bedtime Tales at 11. That's to right. Go. You can it's at 11. You can crawl into bed with me and I'll read a story. Right now we're doing Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ooh. And then Ooh. I always write a hundred mile story about the kingdom of Earth, just like my hundred mile stories podcast. 
So come yeah. there. Cl- crawl yeah. into bed. And then uh, Tuesday next week, uh, we did the, the, the finale last night, guys. So be sure to go back and watch that shenanigans. And then uh, we'll be doing like a Q&A Tuesday night. Chilling, hanging out. Yes. Yes. And I it believe was- that is a Patreon event. So mm-hmm. if you are not following, subscribed, Patreoning our Nat 21, um, pop over there and join so you can be around for the fun AMA on Tuesday. Whoop, whoop. Um, and then, of course, wash, rinse, repeat. Um, and just like a wig. <laughs> just like the wig. Um, so be sure to stay tuned and see what shenanigans. Oh, Grand Saints game. I just, I wasn't on the comment section. Um, the Grand Saints game is on Sunday. Which is, is that also during our a normal... Patreon perk. So if you want to play D&D yeah. with our awesome Paulo Garbanzo, Patreon, baby. The time, Reverend Tommy? Yeah, the Reverend Tommy. Tommy. Is it like before the um, Sunday side quest game? Well, we went for Reverend Tommy to give us the oh-so-coveted answer. Oh, 12-ish. 12, 12 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, yeah. What is time? Um, we're, we're, and you guys can tune in on Twitch and affect their game. And then, I'm just and then, and then we shall bless them or ruin them, depends on your mood. Um, but they've been super helpful. We didn't die last night. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of want to talk about that. How we did a kick-ass job. I well, thought that I, w- I thought I got jammed. I thought I was going to be a jam pyre. I was like, oh no. I was a little nervous about that too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Hypatia probably would not let uh, Andweave suffer that fate and might have put her out of her misery. Uh, uh, Andweave would have put herself out of her misery. (laughs) (laughs) Screw this! Although I will say, Andweave would make a kick-ass vampire. I mean, just a normal vampire, yes. Yeah, she'd be all about the vampire aesthetic, running around, biting people, get to live in a cool house in a cool neighborhood. All right, cool, cool, cool. But the accent. No. <laughs> that accent no. had to go, bro. You gotta draw the line somewhere. And you had, you had, you had to just draw. And, and I, it was so funny the whole time when I was like, "Do not give him that idol." Well, I'd rather give it to the. I was like, "Okay." And the whole time, I'm, I'm waiting. Uncle Kruggers. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. See, what did I say? <laughs> After all of the trouble I went through to get that for you, hippie. First of all. All right. That's it. That's a two o'clock. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.